So they're fed. Just waiting for them to eat. Got a couple more things to pack up. Just let my um, and then we get to leave. My GoPro did not charge last night, so it's charging now, and I think I can charge it in the car. Or that while we're there, she got like battery pack things, so I'm gonna do that. And Jen gets to go out. Those are the only color left of those I had. Hopefully he'll stay in the shade over here. But it's time to let him back out. We're running behind, but that's okay. So I'm waiting. We gotta get them loaded and then head out. We're about 15 minutes behind, but that's okay. I don't ride until 10 something. It's seven, it takes about an hour to get there, but. Ready? You almost ready? Can see you over there. So I'm sitting in the truck. I am pulling off for a second. I just unloaded everything and got it all in. I'm letting my GoPro charge. I just put my numbers in the penny and wrote my medical information on the card. Which I forgot my armband, but I wrote it and put it in the penny on there. Um, let's see, I think, I think that's really it. I gotta check the start times just to make sure nothing's changed, but...
Okay. I'm gonna head over. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I am. One, or two minutes. one. This is my first event. What does that mean? <laughs> well, before you start, you want one or two minutes. One's fine. Okay. Yeah. This is the first one. Yeah. No. Now you got 30 seconds. See? Great. We don't let you think. No. That's, oh my god, she she was a prelim horse, so this is my first event, so she's gonna pack me around now. This. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's gonna log on to the bigger fences. Good girl.
girl. Oh. Oh.
know, but I feel like I could take a nap. <laughs> Don't worry. Chaos is coming. <laughs> Usually the starters is the chaos. Right. What are you guys doing? Hmm? What you doing? Do you feel better now? Seek's like, I, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, this grass instead over here. It's yummier than your really nice alfalfa, hey mom. <laughs> so, Zeke was great. He <sighs> went over everything. He didn't refuse a jump, not one. He hesitated to a lot of stuff and I don't think my GoPro was actually recording when I went on his and I'm so upset about it because I just wanted to watch that back again, but <laughs> what did he do? He was definitely very wiggly at spots and kind of like, uh, and not like at the jump, but like the stuff, like the shadows like going through. He was really interesting. So I had so much fun. He seemed he like had so much fun. And so I can't wait to see what the results were. We third. Can we get a ribbon? So third. I'm trying not to cry in public. But he was just so good. <laughs> For a horse that like could hardly trot. For the first like couple months that I owned him and just going off and on lame and to literally come out here and place in the top three. His first time out and first time out ever. Not even like schooling, like What you doing? You handsome? Are you handsome? All right. All right, I'm done. I'm on my way home. It's 8.32. I'm gonna get home like after 9.30. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted, but I had so much fun this weekend. I like, I can't believe how much fun I had. Like it was, even despite like how freaking hot it was, it was like the most fun at a horse show I think I've ever had. So, <sighs> Zeke, as you probably saw from the last clip of me like crying and getting so emotional, before show jumping we were in fourth place and they were only giving out like prizes and stuff first through third. So, either way, I was just so happy with how he did. I didn't even care how he did on cross country. Like, I did not ride him through the cross country course aggressively at all. He had some wiggly spots and unfortunately my GoPro was not recording when I did it. I was so mad. I went to like turn it off, like to stop recording. And then I pulled it off and it was recording and I was like, no. <laughs> so that was really upsetting, but oh well. So either way, he went clear, double clear. We were fine on time. He did not refuse a thing. And he went through the water on the first try. Like, I mean, he had a little hesitation and I just kind of squeezed and said, come on, buddy, you got this. And he was like, okay. And then he went through and it was so cute. Oh my gosh, I wish I had the whole thing on video, but like, obviously. Out in Queenie, it's really hard to like, follow around like video wise. So, Either way, he trotted, I don't think he trotted any fences, but he like kind of trotted in between fences and stuff. And like going down the hill, I brought him back down to a trot just because I didn't want him to like be cantering downhill. I mean, he's massive. So like trying to barrel down that hill and he's got the glue on shoes. So I didn't have like studs or anything. So I was just being uber cautious on where I was putting him, how he was go, you know, and I just could not be more proud of him. He did every single jump without question, even if
if he kind of hesitated a little bit, he still went to it and was like, okay, let's do this. I trust you. And it honestly was like the funnest and coolest thing ever. Renita, you would have already seen like stuff on, on hers or whatever, but that was probably the most fun I've ever had on her. Like I got to just kind of let her go because I've schooled cross country on her before and I've done too many events, but like the mini events weren't like, you couldn't really get a consistent pace cause it was a lot of up and down and down hills and down creeks. So I couldn't really let her get into that like really nice gallop. So I just, I am on cloud nine with her. I, she, I don't think she's ever going to be like a very competitive event horse just because of the whole dressage thing and how she apparently is a little barn sour, starts jigging back to the barn. So the fact that the arena, like the dressage arenas were faced that way, like I lost her the minute we walked into that ring and I just couldn't get her, her, her brain back down. Obviously we had a really bad dressage test. Um, and it just, <sighs> I could have rode her better, but she's, she's a tricky ride. Like it's really hard. Like you do too much. You not, you don't do enough. Like there's such a fine line with it. So I have to go based on what I think is right at the moment. And that kind of how I rode her was what I thought was best at the time. But either way, um, her show jumping round was so fluid, so good. I don't like the way I looked riding. And like, there's a couple jumps where I'm like, I feel like a turtle hunched over and I feel like my release wasn't my normal release. Um, but again, you know, you really only ride like maybe 60, 70% as well at a show as you do at home. I mean, that's just the case for me. Most people don't ride as well at a show as they do at home because there's just so many different factors that go into it. And not that I was like nervous or anything because I wasn't nervous. I just, you know, you're doing a new course, you're jumping new jumps. It just, you're focusing a lot more on trying to get the horse in the spot instead of like being able to focus on you. And anyway, I was just so proud of her and how amazingly well she did in that show jumping course. It, that first half of it was probably the best round I have ever, ever, ever had on her. So that was really exciting. So cross country today, she was just flawless. She was beast. She went out there, she did it. There's a couple spots I had to kind of pull her up a little bit cause she was getting a little bit strong going downhill and I was worried about being a little too fast on time. Um, rightfully so, because I was kind of dangerously close on being too fast, but I still, we still want double clear. <laughs> so that was just, it was like, it was like euphoric. And Zeke just had so much fun and I cannot believe he got third place. Like for, <laughs> For just a couple weeks ago, starting to jump him and it's like literally maybe a month ago, just starting to jump him and him really not having been to many shows with me for one. I think I've only taken him to two shows. So since I've had him and for literally just like jumping him just a few weeks ago, like starting jumping him a few weeks to a month ago to like packing up, trailering up, and him just literally being like, okay. And like having a great dressage test, except for the halt, um, which both of them had really bad halts. And Zeke normally doesn't have really bad halts, but he was in the snaffle, so he can't, he can blow through that, like he can't in the double. Um, and I really wasn't, I truthfully really wasn't practicing halts or anything like that in warm up. I was just trying to get him relaxed and um, just kind of trotting out. And I was really focusing on the trot to canter transitions because we 
hadn't really done a whole lot of those recently, but, and that was kind of his like weak area. So, um, I was focusing on those. So I probably should have practiced more halts in the warm up, but, um, just to get him kind of back and off, but he did not like me. I was making him to halt and I'm like, buddy, we have to halt at G. Where else do you think you're going to go? <laughs> Where else did you think you were going to go to? <laughs> So I was just like, I'm not done yet. This is fun. This is easy. This is an easy test. This isn't, as, this isn't what we do. So I think he was just like, this is kind of fun. This is really freaking easy. And then show jumping. I mean, it just, I'm so happy and just over the moon with both of them. My first rated USCA event and Zeke's first ever jumping events like he'd never even been to a jumper schooling show so like those jumps were pretty scary like a lot of horses refused at a lot of those jumps because they're big and they're impressive and they're wide and he was just like okay he's never seen a timer before like I don't know I just I am so impressed with his ability like to jump and his his mental like his game like he's like I'm game let's do it so, I don't know, like, I felt like he kind of took that course somewhat like a hunter course, and that makes me kind of really excited to try him over some hunter fences and maybe take him to a schooling show, and even if I don't compete in hunters on him, I think Stacy probably could, um, but I would, if it's a schooling show, I would just go in and, and do it, but... Because I don't really want to put the unnecessary, like, rollbacks and all that kind of stuff on him. Like, he could do it, but I just don't, I don't want to, like, stress him out by putting him in jumpers and trying to race a time clock. So, if I just do some local hunter shows and just kind of see how he does and see if I can't get him going around nice and calm and slow and just finding the distances. But he, like, it feels like every single jump he just, like... It's like a, a charger, like a battery. Like he gets better and better and better and better. So I'm just like super pumped. Very, very excited. Um, anywho, uh, that's it for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was seriously so much fun. And I am so excited. I cannot wait to do it again. My hope is to take Renita to Catalpa in July. But if I can't make it to that, then I really want to maybe try and get to um, the one in Indiana at Hoosier, the horse trials there, and maybe do novice again and just kind of see what we got going on. Um, I do think maybe I want to take just her um, and see if that helps with like the barn sour and like maybe if it's just her there and she's not getting attached to a horse on the trailer and like whatnot because she was calling for Zeke when we left and vice versa and you know how he gets attached to like a freaking fly um poor guy so I'm hoping maybe maybe that will help so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this I will see you guys in my next video be sure to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I post new videos 